Hi, this is Ricky Sun. I'm a Pi consultant. In this video, I want to say if you have 2012 R2 servers, you need to listen because it is going to be end of life on October 10th, 2023. It will be officially end of life. There will be no support from Microsoft and no security patch and also no bug fixes. And I want to emphasize, maybe just talk about no support first. No support meaning when you contact Microsoft, ah, I got issues. They will say, please upgrade to the 2016 R2 or above, right? That's kind of a normal answer from them. What can they do, right? Like it's end of life. They have the power to say, this is done we don't support it but i want to emphasize uh, no security patch i think that's the most important point i want to point out this will impact everybody when there's no security patch they won't fix the vulnerability in the server 2012 r2 meaning after that date those publicly unlocked vulnerability will be on the internet and even kids. Everyone if with internet will know how to hack the 2012 R2 servers. They just need to search on the internet and they will know about it. And then they can download the script, hack the server with 2012 R2. That could happen. Anyone can do that because the information is available on the internet. And then what can you do when you own the server with 2012 R2? The first thing I would suggest, let's say you don't have money, then what can you do? Don't let your servers go on the internet. It is already done, it is already on the internet. Stop making it available on the internet because it is actually very vulnerable. Hacker could scan all the servers that is 2012 out to on the internet and then they can just pick on the one that they want to attack. Or they even worse, they just malware the servers without even know they malware and they can just script every single IP that is available on the internet and then spam things, right? Don't let your server go on the internet. But that doesn't save you from hacking internally. Let's say someone is already in your network. They want to perform a scan like that, then they can still see the servers. Then you cannot prevent that. That's why you do next thing. The next thing is to migrate your operating system to a newer operating system. You can choose the in-pace upgrade too, right? The in-pace upgrade meaning you can go from 2012 R2 to 2016 and then 2019, and then you you upgrade your Pi server as well if you need to or my great hardware we my company do a lot of them when I was in OSI soft in the past I also do many many times for companies now you have a decision to make which Windows operating system do you want to go for after you decide okay I want to migrate from my 2012 R2 to something my suggested operating system would be 2019 because it has been around for a few years Aviva already test most of the software and then they have support tickets created that have issue related to operating system. I have helped customer move to 2019 so I think it is pretty stable for a Pi server, AF server and analytic server to be there. If you move to 2016 R2, let's say you don't want to go for 2019, it is okay. You have support and all that, bug fixes, but you don't realize this you might have to to upgrade or migrate again after a few years that might be more costly for you to migrate again to do this process after a few years you do it again after a few years you do it again maybe you do it 2019 then you save you a few years talk about moving to the newest 2022 it is not my ideal operating system to migrate the Pi system to because a FIFA may not have tested the software because it's too new so they are beginning to create tickets regarding this operating system some things is not going to work when they install or something so you become the guinea pig of calling tech support always if you have this new operating system and then you call tech support they are going to support you but just don't want to waste time for this after migration by part that is why i like to move to windows server 2019 if you are thinking about migration migrate your old operating system to newer operating system my company also 
support that, please click on the link down below and I will have a solution for you. Thank you for watching for this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.